All right, so here's an update. I finally got a hold of some main bearings that weren't damaged. Uh, you have no idea how much trouble I went through to find undamaged bearings. Um, I basically called every dealership in the country and um, finally found one in North Carolina that had enough undamaged bearings to send me. So today I'm starting the build. So I've already washed the block, which now I have wrapped in a bag. Uh, I sprayed it down, I scrubbed it, I sprayed it down again, scrubbed it again, and then I took the air compressor and I sprayed the whole thing dry. Um, bed plate I still have to wash. I just got done doing the crankshaft. That's all nice and clean. Wrapped up in a bag to uh, make sure no dust gets on it. And um, yeah, we'll be starting dropping the crankshaft in, in a little bit here. I'll check back with you. All right, so I kind of cheated you guys on me installing the crankshaft. Um, it's kind of a big deal on this motor. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on all at once. So I really couldn't film it, but uh, basically I put the crank in and then um, used some plastic gauge to uh, put it on the journal surfaces and then first torque down the main bolts here and then check my clearances. Everything checked out just fine. So then I went ahead and uh, installed the plate. You have to put this sealant on it and uh, you only have a limited amount of time before the time you put it on the motor and then put the bed plate on and then torque everything down. So it was kind of rushing to do all that. But uh, crankshaft's in, turns like a champ. And uh, next we're going to be hanging some pistons. Actually, I'm sorry, not hanging pistons, uh, dropping them in. So uh, we'll check back once I start putting those things in.